At least six people have lost their lives and more than 19 others are reportedly missing after a boat ferrying across a swollen river capsized in India's Union Territory of Kashmir. Rescuers joined by marine commandos continue to scrambling to find survivors in rubber boats as hundreds of worried and mourning family members gathered at the riverbanks after the incident. According to officials, the missing includes several children who were on their way to school when the boat overturned in the Jhelum River in Srinagar. The government says they are looking after resident safety, but unfortunately it's not the case. Look here, the bridge is under construction for over 10 years and yet it is not completed. I blame the deaths on the government. They are responsible for it. I appeal to the MLA to come here and see this and take responsibility. The river was swollen following days of incessant rainfall across the Himalayan Kashmir Valley. As per eyewitnesses, the small vessel had no motor, but its crew propelled it between the river banks by pulling a rope fixed at both ends. Witnesses added that the rope snapped due to the force of the fast-flowing water, crashing against a pillar of a partially built footbridge nearby. In Srinagar, many office workers and school children take the boat across the river in the morning to avoid road traffic. For more on this, our correspondent Idris Lone has sent us this report from Srinagar. Four people have died among the 14 rescued by the officials after a boat capsized in Srinagar's River Jhelum. We're standing on the banks of River Jhelum where you can see that uh, there is a rescue operation being carried out by the SDRF as well as uh, the Indian Army uh, to rescue the people who are still missing after the boat capsized. Around 14 people have been rescued among them. Four have uh, died. Uh, two among them were children, uh, one woman and one was the boatman. Uh, there are supposedly around 8 to 10 people still missing uh, after the boat capsized uh, in River Jhelum this morning. Uh, it was mostly the students uh, who were crossing River Jhelum from one side to another side. There are two, private, uh, two schools on the other side, one uh, Indian Army's and a private school on the other side of the river. And most of these were children from uh, these schools. As you can see, a massive rescue operation is uh, being carried out uh, in the area. There are thousands of people from the area who have gathered here. Uh, after the tragedy struck uh, early this morning uh, in this area and most of these students especially live in these areas and were crossing uh, the river. Uh, from the last two days we've seen uh, a lot of rains uh, lashing the whole of the valley after which the uh, level of water in the river has also come up which could be one of the reasons for uh, the boat to capsize. We're being also told that there was a rope attached from one corner to another corner which broke uh, and was also a reason uh, after which the boat basically uh, got struck with, with the uh, under construction br bridge and it broke down after which uh, all the people who were on the boat uh, drowned in uh, the river Jhelum. Uh, 14 people have been rescued so far, 4 dead among them, while as 8 to 10 people still missing. With video journalist Irfan Idris Sloan for Vion World is One. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.